Okay, hi, hi Bob and Mike, uh, thank you for agreeing to talk to us. Who's the three toughest doubles teams you've faced say, and why? Yeah, I would say the toughest one and um, best doubles team of all time is the Woodies. You know, we played them, we were lucky enough to play them three times at the beginning of our career and the end of their career and, you know, they just did everything so well. You know, they made a high percentage of first serves, they coached awesome, they communicated great and they're very precise with their returns and uh, their angles. Second, I would probably say uh, Nestor and Zimenech. They played together for three years, and I would say we probably played them in uh, 20 finals. And they've kind of played like us. They're, they're big servers. Um, there's a lefty-righty combination, and um, they're all over the net. They're two big guys, and uh, they gave us some trouble. Uh, I think they you know, beat us six times in a row at one point, and so we, uh, we switched up our formation, and I went in the, in the deuce court, and Bob in the ad, and, and it, it worked, and, and now they, they split up, which is weird because they're uh, number one team in the world and not number two for two years, so uh, we're happy to see it. See them split up. <laughs> and then I would say uh, Nestor and Knowles, who we played probably 40 times. You know, legendary team. They played for 10 years, won three slams, a ton of Master Series. Um, Nestor, the big lefty, who could hold with ease, and then Knowles, he had great hands, and uh, or he still does, and uh, great returns. So uh, they, were, they were brutal. And finally, who do you think is the most naturally gifted doubles player that you, you have both um, you've kind Nestor. of both faced? Yeah. I would say Nestor, uh, he's been successful with a, a lot of different partners. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of weaknesses. He's got a slinky lefty serve. Um, you know, he can hit the angles on it. And, uh, and then he's got great returns, good hands. Um, and he's, he's cool and plays well under pressure. So we've uh, probably say him and who do you say? I know, Nestor, I mean, his body's held up. He's turning 39 and he's a good athlete. He's stayed uh, pretty much injury free for his whole career. So, uh, got to tip our hats to him. Thanks very much. Thanks.